After so many years of using condiments on almost everything I ate, I now think they're overrated and mostly useless. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat. And today it's about condiments. And uh, th these are additives you add to your food for flavor. Um, for the longest time, um, before we became low carb, it was all about ketchup, slathering and, and drowning your food in ketchup and other, other bad. I mean, ketchup is our, our number one um, uh, offender, but there's a whole bunch of other uh, condiments out there. And, and as we switched over to the low carb, keto, carnivore type mindset, where we, just, we basically just eat animal pro products now, eggs, uh, dairy, and uh, meat, uh, mostly red meat and some pork in there as well. But uh, I started looking at it and like, especially ketchup. I mean, everything I remembered about the foods I used to love back in the day uh, had something to do with ketchup. You know, it was like French fries and that ketchup and white castles and the way the ketchup interacted with the onions and the pickles. Um, Ketchup played a huge role, and I, I, I kind of understand ne uh, why now, because of the sweetness and the sugar in the ketchup. And today, you know, uh, Heinz ketchup is high fructose corn syrup. They're not really trying to get rid of that because they know that's their biggest selling and cheapest brand. So they shove that uh, high fructose corn syrup in there. Of course, they have the natural ones and organic ones now to, to appease the people that uh, refuse to eat the, the bad sugar. Um, but can you live without ketchup? I mean, like I, or any other condiments for that matter. I mean, what I've been trying to do mostly now is to enjoy the, the meat in its purest form with the exception of salt. I don't even use pepper as a seasoning anymore. Uh, because I found it to be a little bit irritating when you've taken it out of your diet uh, a lot. Um, and about the only condiment I'll still use uh, just sparingly is, is um, mustard because it's extremely low carb, uh, but it still contains sugar and I'm still trying to figure out a way to, to not be able to, to eat a hot dog without uh, mustard or if there's some sort of... Um, completely sugar-free mustard and does it taste like crap? I don't know. But I think that people have gotten way too used to hiding the taste of their food with ketchup. Now, if you ever eat a hamburger at a restaurant, it's, you know, it's the bready bun, you got your inflammatory toppings, onions, uh, lettuce, tomato, and then uh, bacon, no problem, but then you have, uh, you put your mayo, which is no problem too, other than the soy in most mayo. Uh, you should really get avocado oil mayo if you really want to have a much better mayo. Um, and, then, and then ketchup, and then their french fries with ketchup. It dawned upon me that all this additive stuff it was just unnecessary, you know, blood sugar raising ingredients. And if you just taste the meat alone on the most hamburgers you buy at most restaurants, they don't really taste like anything. So it's like without their supporting staff, um, the meat cannot win an Oscar in the restaurant the Emmys. Uh, it's just, uh, it's not good. So that's why I've been really trying to f you know, fine tune and, and really you know, just eat a piece of meat alone with nothing else. And you can, then you could start really differentiating between the different kinds of meats. And you realize that you know, pretty much 99% of all frozen burgers are crap. They really, they're not worth anything. Bubba burgers and all those other burgers, we don't touch anymore. We, I'd rather get low end, 80% uh, shop right ground beef and that still tastes uh, profoundly better than any frozen burger. Our favorite at the moment, uh, or there's two favorites we have, are the Pat Lafrida meats and the uh, Sweden Sun. But anyway, forgetting about the meat, or it's not just about the meat. It's, it's, I think adding all this stuff to your food really complicates things and adds unnecessary sugar, especially with ketchup. And I think people should try to appreciate the food in its, in its purest form. And all these recipes, they always throw hidden sugars in and it's just not necessary. Uh, and I think it, it takes away from, 
from the fact that just red meat uh, really does satiate you and it, uh, it doesn't provide you with any issues. No stomach aches, no inflammation, no bloating, nothing. You kept it simple. I mean, a little cheese can't hurt. Of course, the cheese that's not, uh, has potato starch or uh, corn starch in it, but that's it. I just think condiments are overrated and unnecessary. And I think I'm gonna do my best to either cut back almost 100% uh, or eliminate them entirely. Have a good week ahead.